This is probably going to piss some people off, but I don't care. We're going to talk about subconscious sexism for just a second. And yes, I am a fan of Taylor Swift, but let's put that aside for a minute because I'm also a mother and I'm also a woman. I wrote a post on Facebook that I'm going to summarize in a minute. A man then took that post, changed the pronouns from she to he, changed the label from mother to father, and it got 30,000 shares overnight. When I posted this as a woman, it got 3K shares, and I'm a complainer, and I'm fighting a problem where it doesn't exist. And what did I say? I said that I am so disappointed in so many of you who think that because you're not a fan of someone that you are entitled to shit all over them. I want to remind you of something. Your children are watching you complain about Taylor Swift literally just existing and taking up space at a football game. How dare her? She's just sitting there being happy, cheering for a man who obviously seems to love her in what seems to be a very healthy and loving relationship. And you know what? Who even cares that she has won 324 awards? Who even cares that she brought in $5 million in consumer spending by going on tour? And leaders in other countries literally beg her to come there so that they can boost their economy. Who cares that there are literally 20 college courses about her, including at Stanford, UC Berkeley, and Harvard because of her talent as a lyricist, as a musician, as an artist. It does not even matter that she donates massive amounts of money to local food banks in every town she plays in. And please do not forget, nobody cares that she was sexually assaulted by a radio DJ and then got him fired. When he sued her for defamation of character, she countersued for a symbolic $1. Why does it matter that she was fighting in court for literally two years to try and win this case to prove to women that their rights and their boundaries deserve to be respected and that we cannot be silent in the face of oppression? Oh wait, you should care because your daughters, your nieces and nephews are seeing you run your mouth and talk negatively about someone who does so much good for women simply because she exists in their line of sight. Do better. Because listen, my five-year-old sells these beautiful friendship bracelets to fundraise for Taylor Swift tickets. They're freaking gorgeous, and we also sell the cutest swag ever. But why should you stop complaining about Taylor Swift in the NFL? Because you need to teach your boys that they need to respect women. And you need to teach your girls that it is okay to take up space. Become aware of your words because we have the ability and obligation to fight for the future of our children by changing the way we react in these tiny moments. And we need to consciously choose to be better for them. Now when I shared this post, 3,000 shares when this white man in a suit shared this post without giving me credit and took out the part about my five-year-old's fundraiser. 30,000 shares overnight. You're a part of the problem, my man. So yes, I wanted to come on TikTok and call him out. <laughs> they also wanted to use my platform to speak about something that I believe is truly important because I don't hear anyone complaining about Eminem showing up at the Lions game. This is not about Taylor Swift. This is about all women and their right to take up space. Do better.